Hamilton's devil skin has been an unstoppable force since their inception in 2009. Two number one albums, world tours, and thousands of devoted fans. The award winning rockers have toured with the likes of Motley Crue, Alice Cooper, Korn, and Slash. Front and centre is lead vocalist and mum, Jenny Scalander. I remember when I, I got pregnant and someone was just like, oh, well, that's the end of devil skin and, um, you know, there goes your body and that sort of thing. It's just like, well, no. Sure enough, the band is back on the road with their Let Me Breathe tour. Welcome, guys. Mid tour, very cool. Got all the big names there: Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, and Browns Bay. I yeah. see. <laughs> they rock out of Browns Bay. They do. Yeah, they sure do. Awesome. How's it been going so far, the tour? It's been amazing. Yeah. yeah. Really, really good. I think people have been hanging out for a good excuse to come out and party, and you know, with just the state of uh, cost of living, everything like that. Yeah. People just want to break. They want to come up for air. They just want to breathe. And mm. so, you know, we're giving them that rock and roll chance to come out and let it all out, scream and shout. So good. And Jenny, um, I sort of made a joke because you guys are kind of quite famously, you've had some cool pyrotechnic stuff as part of your shows before. And I was like, oh, would you get our bubble guy on? Would you get bubbles on tour? But you've already done it. Yeah, Saturday. <laughs> it's my birthday. So. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Some bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. <laughs> some pretty big names that you've toured with there. That's really impressive. Who was your favourite? And we hope it's Slash because we talked to him and he was nice. <laughs> Slash is definitely up there. Um, yeah, we've, we've toured New Zealand, Australia with him, and um, right. Hailstorm. Uh, we did Europe with Hailstorm. I'm not familiar with Hailstorm. Oh. Yeah. Obviously big, though. Yeah. Really good, yeah. Um, Canadian band called Sumo Psycho. They were a lot of fun as well. Sumo Psycho. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, I love them. Th there's one band, though, that we'd love to tour with, but uh, they have broken up, and that's Vomit Socks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not Vomit Socks. Oh, yeah. My old high school band. Thank you for remembering for <laughs> <laughs> That's your high school name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give us a quick insight into that name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, um, the, people always ask about our band's name. Surely there's more intelligent questions mm. you can ask about the yeah. music of Vomit I don't, Socks. I don't <laughs> imagine it being, knowing Jesse's singing, I don't imagine it being a metal band, Vomit <laughs> Socks. Can't okay. tell you. can tell you. I, right. I, I've got to say, Paul Martin is an absolute legend. If they were going to give out like a King's Service medal of, uh, medal of heavy metal, metal, they would give it to this. I've been listening to you on the radio in your heavy metal show mm. since 1987. Oh. And, and there is a like a serious part to this, because you know, as I know, that metal music can be life-changing, mm. right? Yeah. And, and, and you must see that when mm. you meet your fans. Absolutely. What sort of impact can your music have? Well. <laughs> well, well what do they tell you about... Yeah, we've had, we've had someone come up to us and say, hey, your song, Burning Tree, saved my life, mm. you know. Um, wow. She showed us all these scars from cutting and stuff and found solace in our song. And, um, yeah, that, that was really sort of a big moment for us. But a lot of things like that, people get tattoos of our band and stuff, get married to our songs and mm. stuff, and it's just... I think we've actually got some pictures of those tattoos because they are, they're not just like simple oh, wow. little pieces, like they're incredible. Mm. Have you ever come across a, a favourite, one that really made your jaw drop, Jenny? Um, yeah, uh, on the back of someone's head was just our big in, like, our skull insignia. Um, yeah, a big head tattoo. Yeah. It was pretty it was impressive. Awesome. That, guy who come, that guy who covered his whole back, surely yeah. he gets free tickets oh, yeah, for life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that as well. That's, He's yeah. the man, Warwick. And, and Daniel, we, we've, got, we've met some incredible yeah. people through being in a band, and, you know, when they get that level of commitment that they want your band tattooed on all your lyrics Ooh. or something like that, it's pretty special. Yeah. What yeah. I also find special is for Paul, it's... Uh, a kind of a family affair, and it's your son who's part of your yeah. band. Yeah. He was quite young. How did that come about? Um, he was 15, and um, our original drummer uh, had to have a, an operation for an, for an old wound he had, and um, I booked a tour. So I basically said to Nick, hey, can you drum for us? And he goes, no, no. So I said, you'll be grounded if you don't. <laughs> And, yeah, oh, there's just been no looking back, and he's, Nick's just amazing. He's, you know, 
a wonderful person to be in a band with. He's really intelligent, multi-instrumentalist, and yeah. Mm. Bring your son to work day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and totally. like Jenny, we've already seen a story that we had with you a few years ago mm. talking about being a mum who freaking rocks, so we look forward to seeing your baby on stage oh. with you yeah. again <laughs> soon in the future. I know. Um, <laughs> Devil Skins Nationwide Tour continues through uh, July, and we've got some details on our Facebook page. Please give it up for Devil Skins. <laughs>